Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. Today we're going to take a look at Linux Mint 19.3 Trisha, the beta, and I pulled a fast one today. So I've been running the beta for about three days on a test system and decided, you know what, this is stable enough that I'm just going to go ahead and wipe my beloved KDE Neon and install this, which is exactly what I did. <laughs> oh, I need help, folks. I need help. Nevertheless, uh, this is a fresh install on my main system. I want to go through and point out some of the, I'll call, refinements to Linux Mint 19.3. And there may be a few changes uh, from the beta to final release. I don't expect to see much. And I like what I'm seeing refinement-wise, and I want to step through each of those. There have been some updates to packages. So let's just go ahead and jump in. The first thing you're going to notice here is a new launcher logo and that is much improved it's a very modern looking little logo and you've got some options here as well in the looks department if you want to change things up a little so you've got this round again modern looking as opposed to this oddly shaped linux mint logo which has always just kind of been like a scratching a chalkboard to me i've always felt that way every time i look at it i know it's strange there's a lot more than just looks here with Linux Mint 19.3, so let's go ahead and dig through. i tell you what, take a little journey with me before we go poking through everything. And I do want to change the theming up a little bit. Um, one of the things I really appreciate about Linux Mint are the built-in themes. So this won't take long. We're going to pop over here to Mint Y Aqua. Change that up as far as the controls. We'll do the same, but we're going to go darker. Mint Y Darker Aqua. That puts a little black bar up here. And then finally, let's come down to Mint Y Dark Aqua. And just like that, you've changed up the color scheme, look at the icon, so on and so forth. All right. As I said earlier, it's much more than looks, but brand new fresh system, so I just want to tweak things as we go. All right. So well, the first thing I want to talk about is the new system reports and when I first installed this I did have a little pop-up here and it's just a new way to show you system activity so maybe there's a new language pack maybe there's um, an update to a particular driver so let's go over to system and system reports so this is new it's going to run a system check looking for any problems. So we've got three options here. And again, you'll see a little triangle um, flashing at you when you first install. It, so here we have install language packs, set the root password, which I have not done yet, or set up the system restore utility. And you'll get that launch time shift or ignore this problem as an option here. In days past or previous versions, you would get, uh, when you first launch into Update Manager, you would get um, a banner here to set up Time Shift. And so maybe they've changed that, and now you're going to find that within System Reports. Go over here to System Information, No Crashes. So that's one of the changes. So next up in Refinements will be Language Settings, or the Language Setting Tool. So let's go into system settings and we'll take a look there under languages. Go ahead and maximize this. So now not only can you set your language and region, you have an option for time format and then you can apply that system wide and then from here install and remove additional languages. I've got to say this looks very clean, very polished. Also, you're going to find that high DPI is applied to 19.3, all versions of 19.3 moving forward. So when you go into your display settings, you could pop over to settings here and go from user interface uh, scaling. I believe normal is set by default, uh, but you could go into high DPI. That again will be fully in uh, fully available um, Linux Mint system wide with all the different versions. So that is certainly a nice addition. Next up too, we have a change in language. Instead of the X app video player, which apparently used a lot of CPU, uh, they've made a switch over to celluloid for 
video playback. And uh, you know, theme-wise, it applies just as it should. And it's dark as it should be if you're using it to play a video. But the big kicker here is if you previously would watch a lot of videos on Linux Mint loaded on a laptop, apparently it would cause a lot of uh, heat buildup because of the CPU crunching and the fan would kick in and then you would also drain your battery faster that way. So hopefully Celluloid solves that problem. While we're discussing apps, there has been a change in the note-taking application. Tomboy was removed because it did not support high DPI settings. So in its place is Gnote. We'll launch that real quick. And you know, you think about it, if, it, if you used Tomboy in the past and you did have a high DPI monitor, um, you know, it'd be a little frustrating that everything looks great until you launch into your notes app. So this will take care of that. So good move. And then on the subject of another app, um, drawing has been added. I think that's just a standard GNOME app. Uh, nevertheless, I think this is a great addition because it's uh, it's pretty simple in its layout, and it'll be easy to understand for many people. You know, to just kind of jump in and start uh, messing around. Whereas GIMP is sometimes overkill for um, you know, it's, or it's got a longer learning curve, I would say, than something like this. So again, nice addition here in the list of refinements. Next up, let's get into some of the Cinnamon desktop settings. And one of the changes is to the Cinnamon panel. So we're going to head over here to Edit Mode. And once in Edit Mode, we'll go to Panel Settings. And now you have the ability to adjust the symbolic icon size here in the panel, which is very nice because um, there are times, depending on the theme you're using and some of your adjustments, say in panel height and things like that, to where one or two of the symbolic icons can get uh, oversized compared to the rest. So having more control there is nice, especially if you're someone like myself who really enjoys setting up themes and, and tweaking things. And then we have the Nemo context menu. So if we go into, a ne Oop, let me get out of panel edit mode and we'll pop over here to Nemo. And I'll tell you, Nemo's really grown on me. I'm still gonna say that Dolphin is the best file manager uh, anywhere, uh, but Nemo is certainly full featured. All right, so I'm gonna go over here to file management preferences and let's go into context menus that is something new and, and very welcome on the system side of things or the cinnamon side of things if you will and now you can choose uh, different entries that you want to see as you're making certain selections or background clicks or icon views or on the desktop so again giving you more control over how your system works and as far as i'm concerned that's not a bad thing there have also been some system improvements. So we're going to pop over here to System Info, uh, Linux Mint 19.3. Doesn't say beta, but it is beta. Uh, Cinnamon version 4.4.3 with Linux kernel 5.0. Also uh, added in to uh, system changes is uh, Linux firmware 1.173.9. There is a hardware detection tool that's been added to the BIOS menu settings of the ISO image. So as you are going through the process of booting up the ISO, you will have an option to detect your hardware, your system hardware. There's also a slew of other improvements that I'm just gonna kind of pop through and discuss with you. Startup animation's been improved, crashes, any small crashes that they had from the previous version they worked on, speed optimizations in the menu applet, Window focus mode is now configurable in the system settings. Let's go back over here and check that out, actually, uh, while we're on the subject. Typing with one finger here, folks. And we'll go over here to Windows and Behavior. And here you see Window Focus Mode. So you've got Click, Sloppy, and Mouse. So I'll have to mess around with that a little later. Uh, got those settings in place, though. Uh, support for silent notifications, simplified window settings, a uh, rework panel settings in menu, and that was different. Just going by memory, does look a little different. 
High DPI settings move to display module. And next up on the list, an option added to disable the touchpad when a mouse is attached. New sort options for spices. Network applet rescans the network automatically when opened. Debus and pulse audio fixes in sound applet. Date and time settings rewritten, rewritten say that fast five times. X app improvements along the way. Of course, with high DPI, they wanted to make sure everything uh, would support there. Support for dark themes and symbolic icons. Um, no dependency on obsolete G sockets or, or G, uh, GTK plug technology. And uh, support for any mouse click, button press, and button release event. Support for multiple menus, native menus, and support for multiple trays. So really a nice rundown. This is a nice update for 19.3. And like I said, over three days, it's been extremely stable. I've had one small, I'd say small um, system update and everything applied just fine. Overall, it's very snappy. That's the one thing I'll say too about Cinnamon is it, it really feels fast and fluid now, where as a couple years back, it just always seemed to be a little sludgy. And I think that's gone. So we'll uh, keep you up to date with progress. I can't wait to jump in here and do some theming and some tweaking and just kind of see where I can take Linux Mint. And we'll see how long I run this. Well, I know how long I'll run it. I'll run it till the final release and then I'll pop over to that or update to that perhaps. That's actually a good question. I don't know if we'll be able to update the beta. I'll probably wipe and install fresh anyway. So... Hopefully you've enjoyed this look at Linux Mint 19.3 Trisha Beta. And uh, let me know your thoughts on Linux Mint and what you've seen here. As always, thanks for watching.